Well, the first class event certainly highlights the Adam and Card at Club Manegal on Saturday night. The powerful Jason Grimson style, represented by four runners, the might of the McCarthys, Belinda and Luke, with three runners out of Orlando, the headline act as far as they're concerned. But I'm going for a fly in the ointment with Mahomes, the newcomer to the Jack Trainer stable, an eye catching performance when first up for Jack and finishing third, rattling home from a six peg run to finish third behind artillery. The run was outstanding with the fitness on his side now. A nice draw. Hopefully, Blake Fitzpatrick, who replaces Jack, serving seven days courtesy of the stewards from Bathurst a week ago. Hopefully, Mahomes will just get that nice, kind run in behind the power players, finish the race off too well. As far as specials on the card in the opening event, I'm sticking with my ultimate Chevron. He's just a model of consistency of late. He's coming off a very solid effort here last week in running second. Cam Hart, another nice draw. We should be able to give my ultimate Chevron a good run and hopefully finish off and go one better this time around. Over to race two, and despite drawing white against slightly stronger opposition, I'm sticking with heaven on high for the astute David Thorne. Once again, another good drive here for Blake Fitzpatrick, replacing Jack Trainer. Heaven on high has been most impressive in winning both runs back for a slight setback after his unplaced effort in the Renshaw Cup behind Port-au-Prince. But heaven on high, he looks to be going places. No doubt in coming weeks, David Thorne will be looking to step heaven on high up in grey with all the big guns heading north of the border. Then moving over to race four, I'm keen on Anna Love. She's had two runs back from a spell. She won prior to having her break. She's finished fourth on both occasions, the latter behind Tintin Joe. I think she's ready to run a bold race, Anna Love. Trained by Brad Hewitt and part owned by Jared Croker, the Canberra Raiders legend, who will be celebrating his 300th game for his beloved club on Friday night. So hopefully it's going to be a big 24 hours. So hopefully it'll be a big 24 hours for Jared Croker's success with his Canberra Raiders and his 300th game against the Warriors on Friday night. They're backing up here at Club and Angle on Saturday night with a couple of winners. Emma's boy goes around earlier in the night, another part owned by Jared. So he's got two live hopes at Club and Angle on Saturday night. Now looking at Milton in race three, I'm sticking with Where's Seggy. No luck last time out. I think worth another chance. And then race five, like a wildfire, fit of one run back from a spell, steps out in the Italian Cup, which was a race the great late Vin Knight just loved to win, particularly with popular arm. But I think like a wildfire, fitter can overcome the second row draw in what should be an outstanding event. Of course, with the Queensland Carnival now upon us, the attention starts to head north of the border. Luke McCarthy and Belinda will be heading there in force on Saturday night. I think we can stick with their three runners. Muscle Bart looks very hard to beat in race two. Over to race five and can find a better man. Beautifully drawn in gate two. He should prove to be the outstanding bet on the card. Well, over to race nine and expensive ego having his first stand start assignment. I think he should be a little bit too classy for his rivals. He did contest a trial here at Club Manegal under the stand conditions. Stepped away nicely, hit the line strongly to win that trial by just the nose margin over Loyals. But will we see how he handles this particular assignment? Certainly there is plenty of depth in the race, but the class of expensive ego should get him through. So my thoughts for the East Coast. Outstanding racing up and down the seaboard this time around. Club and Angle, Melton and Albion Park on Saturday night. Hopefully we found a winner or two. Until next time, good punning.